Welcome to Night's Arcade, I'm Sleepless Night, and yes, I know, I said I was going away for a while, and I still am, but I did also say that I would continue with update videos for games I play regularly, and that includes Chivalry 2. So Torn Banner have dropped another update on us, and it finally fixes those matchmaking and party issues we've been having since launch. Well, it says they fixed them. I mean, some of them, anyway. I'm sure they're working as hard as they possibly can. Look! Shiny things! <laughs> yeah, okay, this update, named House Gallancourt, does mainly seem to be about new maps and shiny things. And they do claim to have fixed some of the matchmaking issues that have been making people rage quit. I'm not saying me, just people. The main points, however, are the new team objective map, the Desecration of Gallancourt, which is a great new battle through the walled city of Gallancourt and onto the enormous ships in the port, which must be destroyed or defended in the same way as the trebuchets at Lionspire. A new team deathmatch or free-for-all map, imaginatively titled Courtyard, the deathmatch portion of which is called, and I'm not making this up, the Betrayal of Courtyard. Poor Courtyard. Seems akin to making a movie called Attack of the Sentient 1958 Plymouth Fury, which might well pique your interest, but I'm sure most of us can agree that Christine is a slightly more catchy title. There is also a new arena game mode in the Courtyard, Fighting Pit and Tournament Grounds maps, which takes the form of a 3 versus 3 player fight, where the winner is the first team to win 5 rounds. Not really for me, but if you want smaller fights with a few of your mates, this might be your kind of thing. The new player profile screen looks interesting and may seem a bit broken when you first look at it. On mine, for example, they showed 60.2 hours at the top, but only 0.7 hours if you add up the total class hours, and it does seem to have reset some of my stats to this time when I played it for about an hour, but not all of them. It's weird, but Torn Banner are keen to make clear that this is currently just a preview feature, and as such, any stats may be reset at any given time, etc, etc. Basically, it doesn't currently make any sense, but it seems like the devs know that, so make of that what you will. There is now an arrow cam, similar to the one in Chivalry Medieval Warfare, which I think people might have imagined would look something like that lovely tracking arrow shot from Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, but in reality is more closely compared to a split-second POV of a sparrow flying into your patio window. At least the way I use it. Look, I, we're not here to talk about how much I suck as an archer. Everyone can see that. I'm only doing it to get the bazillion arrows needed for my last Chivalry 2 achievement. Anyway, I don't like being an archer. Can we move on? Anyway, the controls for the POV of the aforementioned ill-fated projectiles are, as I believe Her Majesty Queen Victoria was fond of saying, janky as fuck. At least on consoles. I'm sure PC players just need a gesture of the finger to one of their manservants and a golden unicorn descends to press the button for them, make them a drink and give them a tender kiss. But as console plebs, we'll have to be content with POV controls designed for use by angry, confused chimps trying to make a point about how opposable thumbs can sometimes be a bit shit. You see, this is what happens when I stop making content for a couple of weeks. All this stuff is cluttering up my brain, you should think yourselves lucky. Anyway, if you've always wanted to know what your arrows get up to when you let them out unsupervised to run riot with their mates, congratulations, looks like your prayers have been answered. The only thing I imagine it could sometimes be useful for is getting a quick overview of the battlefield, but so far my attempts to go into arrow cam with arrows that I fire pretty much straight upwards have failed and the game doesn't seem to like it very much. This POV can also be used on other thrown projectiles, it isn't limited to arrows. There's a whole new set of female armour skins, as well as new skins for shields and weapons, which include some sexy new swords, hammers and axes, if you like that sort of thing. New female character voices, a couple of new playable characters, including monks, which will only show up at certain points of certain maps, similar to the peasants from the Slaughter of Coxwell map, a couple of new carryables, and one new thing that I almost overlooked in the patch notes, but I've been wanting since the game released. 
Anyone who plays Chivalry 2 knows that team damage is definitely a thing in this game. And just occasionally, you might accidentally kill one of your teammates, either because you weren't being careful enough, or because you charged up a heavy or special attack and one of your chums danced between you and your intended target during the downswing. Whatever the reason, I've been saying for weeks that if there is a commend player prompt when an enemy kills you, there should surely be an oops, didn't mean to stab you in the back of the head with a broadsword prompt, and now there still isn't, but there is an option to forgive the teammate who accidentally killed you. Still, it's a start. There are the usual balancing tweaks, which I'm sure most of us can agree are needed here and there, but otherwise it's business as usual, and that is about all I've got for you. I am, believe it or not, still taking time away from my regular uploads until I clean up the channel and start focusing the content down a bit from the pebble-dashed mess of haphazard gaming content that you've come to expect from Knight's Arcade. But there is a Shipbreaker update incoming, so I'm hoping to make a video about that. In the meantime, you can keep up with me on other social media sites like Twitter, Facebook, Discord, Patreon, and, like, I don't know, Smoke Signals or something like that, all of which are linked in the video description below and on the Knights Arcade channel header. But if you don't want to do any of those things, just leave a like if you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more from me in the future, and ring the bell to be notified whenever I post new content. If you haven't picked up Chivalry 2 yet, give it a look. It's a crazy amount of fun, and who knows, I might just see you out there. But until then, from Knight's Arcade, this is Sleepless Night, saying nighty-night. <laughs>